Previously, the hottest party celebrating 10 seasons of MasterChef. Yeah! The top 18 battled it out for immunity in an epic team challenge. Do not ruin our party, Ooh. or your Ooh. team will face elimination. Stop pissing around. It's raw. It's chaos right now. Blue team won immunity, while the red team faces elimination. But it was a bittersweet victory for team captain Noah. Blue team. It was clear to us that not everyone was pulling their weight. Someone from the winning team will also be facing elimination. Noah, the choice is yours. And tonight, please put on your blindfold. A season 10 elimination challenge like you've never seen before. Holy crap balls. And for one home cook, that will be their last night inside the MasterChef kitchen. Cook for your life. Hey! Noah. Yes, Chef. Who from your winning team will face elimination? As a team captain, if I were lost, I'd fall on the sword right now. But I believe Suba was hurting us immensely. I don't think that's fair. Well, blue team, everyone except for Suba, please. Head up to the balcony. Yes, Chef. Strong, guys. Thank you. Good luck, Suba. Good luck, Suba. That's crazy. Red team and Suba, put on your black aprons. Let's go. I feel awful I'm going into another elimination challenge because I actually contributed to the winning thing. Noah's very uh, threatened by me, and now I have to fight my way back. Tonight, it's all about what's under here. It's actually been cooked on MasterChef more times than anything else. It's the most delicious, most spectacular chicken. Yes. An absolute stunning protein. In fact, the chef's dream. Not going home tonight. I am so happy. My husband loves chicken. I cook chicken sometimes twice a day. So I'm feeling very confident. Now, to be a true master chef, you have to be able to take a stunning bird like this and break it down into all its delicious parts. Yep. It's so easy, honestly. For me, I could do it with my eyes closed. Really, Gordon? Yeah. All right, well, here's the deal. Go on. Oh! oh man. <laughs> Put that on for size, my friend. Lord have mercy. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. He's actually going to cut up this chicken with a blindfold? Wow. Two drums, two thighs, two wings, two breasts, one carcass. You watching up there? Yes, yes chef. chef. Lift up the knife, pierce back the skin, and literally slice through. Pull back, pop out that joint. Come round, slice off. Again, pierce, pull back. Pop out, slice down. From there, feel where the knuckle is, off. One thigh, one drum. Now for the exciting part, chicken wing. Oh. Cut through the wing, snap off. Unreal. Snap off, back to the main part of the bird. Feel the breastbone down the middle. <laughs> Come through the wishbone. And let the knife do the work. Breast on, peel back that skin. Very carefully fill the knife in, through, down. Incredible. Pull back the fillet and off. One carcass, two drums, two thighs, two wings, two breasts, done. Well done. Well done. Easy. Zorro Ramsey. I hope all of you are ready to follow Chef Gordon's lead. Please head to your stations. As a vegetarian, I've never broken down a chicken in my life. So I'm really freaking out that I may not get the chicken exactly how Gordon wants it. OK, guys, if you are able to wow us today, you'll join the blue team on the balcony and save yourselves from elimination. Please open up your drawers and put on your blindfolds. This can't be real. Holy. What? That is insane.
Is this really happening? Medics! Medics! Just stand on this side, At please. At least three medics. We have to do this blindfolded? Like, holy crap balls. You could take your glasses off, Suva, because yeah, you're not going to need it, buddy. Need I can try. Uh, might not have any phalanges, but I could try it. Your five minutes oh my God. start now. OK, you guys, take your time. Focus. Come on, guys. Be careful. Stop, 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 stop. We're kidding. Really? Thank you, medics. <laughs> <laughs> thank God, thank God, thank God. <sighs> right, everybody ready to break down your chickens? Yes, yeah. chef. It's time for real. Your five minutes start now. Let's go. Let's go, let's go guys. Go, let's, let's go, go guys. Focus. Precision, Lisa. Precision. Being able to break down a chicken is something that every home cook learns. It's a fundamental of cuisine. Gross. For me, it's a great way to identify the sort of basic technical skills. And it's not just about knife skills. So you have to know where the joints are, where the give points are, because you have to use the anatomy of the chicken to help you break it down. Exactly that. One minute gone, guys. Four minutes to go. Sarah's nervous. She's shaking. I know. Come on, Sarah. You got this. You got this. Oh, yes. I have broken down a cooked chicken, but I'm no expert at butchering, so I'm so relieved that I don't have to do it. Suba's got both the wings and the legs off already very fast. Yeah. It's redemption time. I'm going to get back on the balcony. Guys, we're coming up now. Just two and a half minutes to go. Halfway. Jeez. Let's go, Micah. Suba's done. First one job. finished. Wow. I feel good about this one because every part looks good. I even completed the task well ahead. So I'm confident that I'm going to get upstairs. 90 seconds to go, guys. You should be on the breast. Micah, let the knife do the work. Let's go, Kimberly. Breast. A lot of home cooks, I think, probably when they do this the first time, they leave lots of breast meat on the breastplate. Biggest mistake. How do you eliminate that? So you find that center backbone, and you run your knife in a way that you don't leave any flesh on that carcass. I can't get the second breast off. That second breast is the hard bit, because there's no leverage anywhere. So yeah. you've got to be super careful. We're down to 30 seconds to go. Come on, put your chicken pieces on display. Not today. I ain't going home today. Looking good, Jamie. Let's go, guys. 10, 9, Nine eight, 8, 7, seven Six, five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. one. That's it. Hands in the air. guys. Hands in the air. Beautiful. Great job, guys. Proud of y'all. OK, now it's time to take a much closer look and to see how well you've done. If you are able to wow us today, three of you will be joining the blue team up in the balcony, safe from elimination. Chance. I grew up with my grandparents owning a farm. They would butcher their own chicken. And it's hitting me really hard at this moment. I'm just thinking, why did I not listen to my grandma more? Wood, have you ever Done uh, chicken like this before? Never. All right, let's see how you did. I think I left some meat on it. Yeah, you left a little bit of meat on here. It's heavy. Wow. These are sloppy. But they're flat, aren't they? Mangled. Not quite the plumpness that we want in a chicken breast. Yeah. <sighs> Jamie, how do you feel if you did? I wish my skin was a little bit cleaner on the chicken breast, but the thighs and the legs I feel good about. I think you're being a little bit too critical. I think you did a fantastic job. You left a really great amount of skin on there. I love that. You made some really clean cuts. Thank you, chefs. Got a boy, Jamie. Dorian. Well, that's a skinny carcass, huh? Yes, it is. Nothing left. Mm, very little. But that's the best You've part of the chicken. You've done this before. Yeah, I have. Plenty of times. The question, Dorian, is it good enough to get you upstairs? Yes. We'll see. <laughs> 